Hey everybody, Accurize here. Welcome to Subnautica. So a few of you probably remember me doing a series on Subnautica uh, a year or so ago. And it was in uh, pretty early access back then. But uh, it was beautiful. And uh, apart from the bugs that uh, sort of ruined the experience later on, it was, it was just a, an amazing game and definitely one that I wanted to revisit. So I had to uh, sideline that series due to the bugs. And uh, here we are, many, many updates later. Very, very close to final release by the end of this year. And I am looking forward to bringing this to you. Apparently they have solved many of those issues and added a lot, of mo a lot more content and added a story mode as well. So anyway, let's get into this. We'll play, start a new game, survival, crash land, dangerous alien planet, scavenge resources and manage hunger, thirst to survive. Freedom, like survival, but without the hunger or thirst. Nah. Survival mode with only one life. No O2 alerts. That sounds freaking dangerous. Uh, build anything with no constraints to oxygen. Well, guys, part of me wants to go for hardcore, but I think that would probably be suicide. And not a very long series. Let's go ahead and do the regular survival. All right, here we go. Loading the level. So here we go. The Aurora, our spaceship, the mothership, just blew up. We are in our escape pod. We have loose objects flying around. Hard loose. And, yep. Yet another concussion. Why do all survival games start with concussions? And fire! I'm glad to see that technology relies on pounding and tapping to get things done, even in the age where we have... Yes, let's pick that up. Even in the age where we have spacecraft. Okay, so we're going to put out this fire with a fire extinguisher. Get it all out. I think we got it all. A little good measure there. Yep, some more tapping. That'll, that'll get things going. This PDA has rebooted with one directive to keep you alive. Oh, don't need to read. I like that PDA. That is something that I need. All right, so fire extinguisher keeps fires in check. Fuel of 100%. I don't know how that happened because I just used some of it, obviously. Uh, inventory. All right, voice log. PDA's rebooted. Okay. So I guess you can... Is rebooting with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. I like that the PDA is trying to help me and all, but we just need to get. We just. We're sort of like stepping on each other's feet at this point. All right. Tab to close that PDA. All right. Maybe I'll learn how to live with her or she'll learn how to live with me. One of the two. Um, but uh, I need her, unfortunately. So we got flares and stuff. This is our storage container. This is our current inventory. Put that fire extinguisher in there. I don't need that right now. We have a flare, a couple of this. We've got nutrient blocks, 75 units of food, 20 units of filtered water. So, okay, that's what we got there. This is our uh, O2 meter, 45 units of that. Uh, I believe this is health, 80 meters of health because we took a little whack to the head. 47 hunger, so we're starting to get a little hungry, but uh, we definitely want to wait until it's at least 25 so we get maximum benefit from our food. And, um, 84, 80, oh, 84 water, so, and we can drink that whenever it reaches 80 or so. Blueprints, the things that we can make. So basic materials, we know about these right here. And we can make some electronics uh, resources, I guess. Some filtered water, we don't know what the ingredients are to filtered water. I, there's not really much to it. It's like, 
I can do, even do the elements for it. It's H2O. It's not that hard. Disinfected water. See? H2O. Microorganisms free. Okay. Uh, standard O2 tank. Fins. Still suit. What's it still suit for? Uh, I don't know. First aid kit, fire extinguisher, thermometer, a pipe, and a floating air pump. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I don't think we're ready for those quite yet. A repair tool that I see sparks, so we're probably going to need that sometime soon. Multi-purpose repair tool, functional in all environments. I need one of those for my house. I could get rid of a lot of tools. Okay, flashlight, battery powered, all of, uh, environment, light source, survival knife, nice, flare, and uh, habitat builder. Ooh, I remember that. That's how we built our, our nice little uh, uh, underground uh, Four Seasons. Sea Glide, I remember you. Little vehicle bay, yeah. Waterproof locker, yeah, the floating locker, I believe, right? Four by four locker, maintains, yep. And base pieces, so this is our little uh, hamster habitat here. And we got ourselves uh, some hatches, yada yada, solar panels, base air pump, uh, ladders for our uh, inside our habitat swimming pool. Look, it looks like a swimming pool ladder to me. All right, and a sign to <laughs> send help. All right, uh, what else we got here? Ping manager. So I'm not sure what that's about here. What is that? Oh, turn. not sure what that is. All right, photo gallery. Uh, we're not quite ready for sightseeing yet. Um, and data bank. Technicals. All environment protection suit. I'll let you guys read that. I'm just going to kind of skim through it real quick here. So it monitors your temperature, hydration, capable uh, for modifications. Slimline build. Uh, yeah, so looks sexy on your awesome bod. Uh, biometric sensors. Contextual heads up display. Uh, AEP suit. Case of a hull breach. Hope we did that. The Aurora. Here we go. Information about our capital ship. Our former capital ship. A dark matter ion drive. It's a V8 though, so you know. Sustained heavy damage to orbital planet. Okay. Case a cause unknown. Evacuation data un unavailable. Uh, this is about our life pod here. A little checklist. Some. Uh, Life pods might have different supplies, such as radiation suits to replace uh, parts. Or the right life pod for the right situation. I hope I did. Uh, I, I would have helped. I wish I had. I hope I had this information beforehand. Okay. Uh, if you're reading this, you survived the emergency evacu evacuation of a capital class equipped ship uh, with Altera technology. Congratulations. The hard part is over. PDA has automatically rebooted in emergency mode uh, with one directive to keep you alive in a hostile world. If that's not possible, it will alert. Okay. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time here with this food and stuff. Survival checklist, minister first aid, take inventory of, uh, yep. Survey uh, environment for threats, construct the necessary survival equipment using the life, uh, life pods fabricator. Check the life pod for damage repair as necessary. I think that's where we need the repair tool. Broadcast for a local distress signal. So we need to do that. That's gotta be uh, something, uh, a priority for us there. Locate other survivors. Oh, interesting. Maybe there are some other survivors. Find or construct more permanent habitat and maintain physical and psychological help until rescue. Uh, it's a general guide. Uh, okay. So there's our PDA. Let's get back into it here. What's this here? Oh, that's escape pod. Let's take a look at this fabricator. Basic materials, water, filtered water. We need bleach. And to get bleach, we need salt deposits and common, common coral, okay. Personal equipment, we can make all these different things that we know about. And we can also discover new items as well. Sea glide, ooh, I want one of those. Okay. So, let's take a look here, medical kit fabricator. Yeah, well, let's pick up a first aid kit. Might wanna use one of those, don't know what our, doesn't really say. Treated bandage uh, bandages apply to staunch blood flow and sanitize wounds. All right, let's staunch some blood flow. Okay, we're I'll back up to 100%. I keep wanting to hit escape for some reason. Oh, hey. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, I want you. Come here. Oh, you're running away from me. Oh, oh you come here. I got a whole fish. Zero human life signs detected. New creature discovered. Yeah. Jeez, I wonder why they call him a whole fish. Put him in there. 
let him just sort of hang out there for a minute. Food is uh, 12 and H, uh, okay. 80% cartilage. Uses his hole for unpredictable maneuvers. Gotcha. A lot more predictable than the other ones. Oh, 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 oh. Get, 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 whoa. Hey, come back here. Ah, uh, peeper. I think those had a lot of water. I think it was because of their eye. If, if memory serves. I wonder if that still holds true. Like you suck the water out of their eye or something like that. I think they're pretty good for hydration. Uh, no? Okay. Well, I'll throw them in there. Sorry. Sorry, it's going to take a while. It takes Acurize a little while to figure things out. Okay, so let's get that. I got a salt deposit. I remember you can get these like, yeah, acid mushrooms. I think you use those for batteries, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Could be wrong. Things could have changed too. Oh, come here, peeper. Ha ha. Got you, peeper. You go, you go right over there into my inventory. Oh, no, no, don't, don't let him go. What are you doing? Get back here, peeper. I don't have anywhere to put my peeper. Oxygen. Oh. Environment. Uncharted. Ocean planet. Oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Water contamination. Hi. Eat something. Alright. Well, how about we can I eat a peeper? Food cured food. Um How about a peeper? Sorry, buddy. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure bodily fluids and internal organs thus rendering them safe for human consumption i gotcha so it's basically saying cook your food all right so let's take a look here let's oh it's a cooked peeper food oh the food content went up a lot and so did the uh, o2 actually not too bad not too bad and i think if you eat too much of one thing you can actually get sick from it or something i don't know uh, Aurora suffered uh, over the whole thing. Yeah, well, okay, so we already know all that. New blueprints, probably just the peeper stuff. Yeah, and whole fish. Okay, good. So we've covered that. All right, let's go back down. I'm gonna go. Ooh, it's starting to get dark already. Look at this. It was beautiful. It's still, wow, it's super beautiful. Man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. These are the ones. These are the ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, these are bladder fish. These are the ones that you can... Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. All right. So this is the... Wait a minute. That's not what I want. I want to take you over to the cooker. Yeah, yeah. Let's cook you up here. Can I water, extract water from you? Yes, I can. I can turn that bladder fish into a bottle of water. So there we go. Let's take a look here. Bam. I got myself a bottle, a six ounce bottle of water. Not too bad. All right, let's get back down here. See what else we can do. If memory serves, I think you can find quartz faster, which is good for making glass. Yeah, it seems like it's easier to see at night, actually, because it kind of glows in the middle of all the screen down here like this. And uh, we're going to need to upgrade our O2 tanks because this ain't going to cut it. So let's go down here and get some more quartz. And I also believe that if you, you can overfish an area, I think. Again, I could be getting confused with other, that's uh, not any metal I can actually pick up. What was that? Is that common coral? Oh, I can't do anything with that right now. What's this? Nothing there, can't do anything there. Okay. Oh, is this a metal I can pick up? Yes. Okay, what else can we get real quick here? Plenty of the... Uh, uh, okay, let's get to the surface here. Before our PDA starts yelling at us. I see some more uh, quartz down here. Quartz is just going to be something that we'll want to collect. There's a bunch of it down here. I'm going to grab as much of this as I can. We should be pretty safe in this biome. Oh, yeah, there's another thing. Wait, where'd it go? I thought I saw some bubbles. Where'd the bubbles come from? Oh, yeah. So we can actually breathe those oxygen bubbles. Rather than go back to the surface. There we go. Okay, so that filled us back up. 
and we'll keep exploring here. There's another bladder fish. Let's grab that quartz and this one. Oh, oh creep vine clusters. Very important. I believe you can get the seeds from it and you can make silicone from it. Unless something's changed, but I, I believe there's also like a barracuda looking fish that is very aggressive around it. And there's some limestone. Just tell me to break up some limestone down here. Oh, oh there's a barracuda fish right there. Ooh, I got some copper. I got some copper. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. <laughs> All right. So they're saying you might, I mean, you could. Oh, what is this? Oxygen. What's going on on the surface? Oh, that's pretty. Wow. I wasn't expecting to see that. I'll find some more of this copper. How do you... Where do we find this? I think it's on the side of these rocks. They're like little bumps that stick off, stick out of there. I just need to find them. Some more quartz. Might be easier to see during the day. I don't know. Whoa, that, that looks interesting. And maybe hot. What is going on here? Wow. I want one of those. Well, give me one of those. I could catch them there. This is beautiful. Okay, let's get to the surface. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen here? Whew, made it just in time. I don't think I took any damage. Okay, let's head back down. All right, I'm gonna try to grab some creep vine clusters. Do I have enough room? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go, go for a high one up here. Let's get up, up to the surface here. Oh, daytime. Okay. Such a beautiful game. Look at this. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Inventory full. Cool. Let's get back. Blueprint acquired. All right. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. We got room for two more items. Uh, some more quartz down here. Now the way the uh, the planet, the biomes are all. Oh shoot! Is he going to get me? Ugh. Oh. Oh, see, he's, they like junk. They like metal for some reason. They like to pick up metal and run around with it in their mouths. I don't get it, but hey. Oxygen. Okay, let's grab one more of these quartz before we head in. See if we can't maybe craft something. I don't know. I figure it's about time to eat anyway. Okay. So here we are. Let's get back here. We have 44. Longer. Ah, we can wait a little bit longer for that. We can drink something though, no problem there. Can I go ahead and drink? Is it gonna let me? Uh, let's eat our drink. Let's eat our water. There we go. Let's pull down another one here. Eat it. And we'll wait on that one. Okay, so we got all this stuff here. Let's see what we can make. Yeah, okay, let's head back over here. Should be able to make a lot of Ah, so there we go. Creep vine seed cluster makes lubricant. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was silicone. Lubricant is essential but in construction of vehicles and power plants. Apparently, it's lubricant. Wonderful. All right. So glass, we can make that from quartz. Got plenty of that. We out of, are we out of that or did I just move off? Yeah, I thought it was a bit early. I thought we still had plenty of quartz left. There we go. Okay, 
Titanium from the metal salvage. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, we can get more titanium too. It's, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, cooked food, cooked bladder fish. Thankfully odorless. Okay. It must not smell smell very good. And what have we got here? We can make something. What can we make? An air bladder. For some points, I don't. Well, I don't really think I need that at the moment. I'm not too too worried about that. What I do want to get is a survival knife. So I need silicone rubber. How do I make silicone rubber? Battery. Okay, so I could do that. Let's make a battery. There we go. I can make a power cell. I got a blueprint, new blueprint. Now that was another thing is you had to go around and look for artifact, like a uh, blueprint artifacts or something like that and scan them um, to get new blueprints. So, like for vehicles and things like that. So let's see here. Computer chip. Battery, copper wire, silicone rubber. Ah, yeah, so you can make silicone. So it's either lubricant or silicone. So I'll, I'll go back and get some more, um, some more creep vines. I used them all up to make lubricant. So I'm gonna get uh, some for some silicone rubber. And then uh, what do I need for, so first thing I want, I probably want fins and a, uh, oh, floating air pump, huh? Probably want, uh, oh, there's a tank. I can make that right now. Oh, let's do that. That's great. Let's take a look and see what I need for fins. I just need the rubber, okay. So now we have a blueprint for a high capacity O2 tank. So not just a tank, but a high capacity one, which is, I'm not sure where it's at. Uh, we got a flashlight and a scanner. Oh, I didn't mean to click it, but we need one anyway, so that's fine. Can be used to synthesize blueprints, okay. Salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Okay, so that's where I was talking about being able to actually go and find artifacts. Um, all right, but I, what I do want is a repair tool first so I can get this thing to stop sparking and send out a SOS or something. Wait a minute, here we go. Where's the repair tool? So I need some salt deposits, cave sulfur, and titanium. All right, should be able to do that. We'll figure it out. Okay, creep vine clusters, where you be? I can't remember which direction you are. Ah, oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, ho, ho, I see you too. I see you too, Mr. Mr. McNasty. Jeez. Okay, so now we're up to, how much are we up to? We're up to 45. To 75, quite, a, quite an increase. But what I want is I want some fins. I need some fins. Let's try to go somewhere where we're not seeing a lot of angry fishies. Yeah, get away from me. All right, let's see if I can sneak in here and steal. Oh, I'm gonna try to grab some of this metal too. Ooh, that was dangerous. They like their metal. Now I guess you can drop them, uh-oh. Okay, keep going, keep going. Inventory full, let's get to the top. I always feel safer way up here. I never really see them swimming around too high in the water. They always seem to like to stay lower. Because that's where the metal goes, right? Metal, they never find the metal up at the surface. It's always at the bottom. Always at the bottom. Oh, those guys make me so nervous. Oh, here we go. So it is, it is so much easier to see during the daytime. So we can bust up some of this, get some random. Different biomes have different standard uh, objects. I guess we're full. Yeah, our inventory is full. That's right, we did pick up a ton of uh, creep vine clusters. All right, let's get up on it. out of here. Let's get back in here and uh, make up some of this uh, silicone rubber. There we go. There's one. Two, three, we'll do one more. Yeah, okay. okay. And uh, we can make some more batteries, but we don't really need that right now. Let's go ahead and get these fins so we can move faster. And that will help us deal with the bad guys. Available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay. The other thing to remember is this this uh, requires power, and right now it needs to recharge a little bit uh, through solar panels. So it will take a little while. So you can't just 
infinitely make stuff back to back to back. You have to actually let it charge up a little. So right now it's at 75% to power and at nighttime it won't do any charging. So, all right, well not bad, not too bad. So if you're hungry, something to think about. There we go, it must still be daytime because it is still charging. So there we go. We haven't gone out the hatch yet. Can we go out the hatch? Can I? Yes. Oh, what was that? Ooh, a bird. Well, you know what that means. If there's a bird, I'm guessing that there's land somewhere. And what the hell is that? What the hell is that thing sticking out of the water? Part of me wants to go check it out. Part of me says I am definitely going to go check it out. Let's uh, let's stow what we have here. Can I get you? Hey, I can't pick you up. Okay. Uh, where's a plat? Oh, I want something nutritious. Peeper. Come here, Peeper. I know how to catch you. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, look in here. See what's going on. We still got a couple peepers in here. Let's throw that one in there. And let's, uh, you know what, let's let's make some uh, out of the metal, metal salvage. Let's go ahead and just make up some titanium real quick. That's all we can do there. All right, let's do another silicone rubber. How are we doing on everything? Let me check. Bunch of silicone rubber, bunch of lubricant, uh, glass, copper ore. We'll get one more. Let's do lubricant, I guess. It's no big deal. Either way. Just try to condense what we have here for storage purposes. Okay, so let's... Uh, Stow all this here. And we pretty much filled up our storage. So what we need to make is our, a little floating box. How much How much does this cost to make? Where are they at? Here? Where's the floating box? No. Here we go. Probably down here. Air bladder. Nope. Deployables. Ah, there it is. Titanium 3. Yeah, we should have that. Yeah, yeah. We do, we do. I know we do. Uh, one, two, three. Get back in here. Make this little floating locker thingy down here. All right, throw that in my inventory. Make sure we have it. There it is, it's huge in my inventory. And we'll just put it right here, right next to our, uh... and there's a, those barracudas are coming into the, into the shallows, man. I thought this was supposed to be a, I thought this was supposed to be my happy place. All right, well, that makes me a little nervous. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, drop it. Is it working? It looks like it's working to me. We can open it and we can store, stow some more items. So there we go. We can, can we move these around? I can probably pick it. Can I pick it up? I'm just I wonder if I can pick it up. Hmm. What we got going on here? Everything that we've covered before. Okay. And a couple new items here. Air bladder. Okay, wonderful. Let's get to this up top here. Okay, so it wants us to eat. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll cook up a little something something here. Uh, let's do a couple peepers. There we go. And maybe a whole fit. I don't know. We could always just eat one of these. I'll save that though, because these don't go bad, I don't think. So these will be my emergency rations. Let's do that. That seems to make more sense to me. And uh, I wish I could cure it, but I can't. Let's, co let's cook this one up here. Let's see how that tastes. Maybe a cooked peeper. And we'll see how full we get off of that. Because if I, if I don't have to cook it now, I don't want to. Because once you cook it, it'll it'll go bad. Eh, okay. It's going to eat. Vital signs stabilizing. Much better. I could go ahead and cook that peeper up. And that'll be good for me. So let's go ahead and cook that up. There we go. Eat. 
Wonderful. All right, so we're looking much better here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the water situation right now. What time is it? It's still daytime. And what do we need? What do we need? We need, uh, I need that repair tool, right? I need cave sulfur, titanium, and salt. Salt's going to be on the floor, the, the bottom of the, uh, down here somewhere. It kind of looks like quartz, but it's more squared off. Hell, it kind of looks exactly like the picture they just showed us, so it's not overly complicated. What the hell? Let's try going through here. Nothing much going on there. Just more. Let's grab this scrap metal while we got the chance. Okay. We can find some cave dust down here, maybe. Trying to remember how you find it. I don't remember how you find it. In here? Maybe down here. What's this? Creature egg. What's which creature though? <laughs> okay. Stalker tooth. Okay. Oh shoot. Exactly. I was wondering the same thing about the eggs. All right, let's get to the surface. Okay, there we go. So let's head back down here. Secure this. Not like, not like that. Open it, not grab it. Edit the label. Oh, I can, I can change the label. That's kind of cool. Okay, so let's throw these in here. Metal salvage, I'll grab that later. And I figure, need to figure out how to get this powder and find some salt. And there's a bladder fish. I'm gonna go for it. Wonderful. And I think if I grab two of them. Oh, it went straight in my inventory. That was good. So I have two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two now. Let's go hunt some more bladder fish. There's another one over. A couple more over here. Let's grab them real quick. That'll help us out with our water supply. So we don't have to worry about that at least. There we go. Let's head back in. That extra extra air tank really does help out quite a bit. How's our power? 41 out of 75. Obviously, we're not going to get any... Well, I was going to say we're not going to get any more charge because it's nighttime, isn't it? I don't know how we're getting any solar charge, but we are somehow. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's water these, turn these into bottled water. All right, there we go. 24 ounces of, of bottled water. Not bad. And I'll go ahead and drink one, maybe two. Great. And let's go ahead and break down the uh, scrap metal here. Wonderful. Back in here. Perfect. Looks good. So, again, we're going back out looking for salt deposits. And hopefully not going to get eaten by a barracuda in the process. Or saber. What was it? Saber fish? the tooth that I picked up. All right. Let me do some searching here. See if I can find some uh, cave dust or whatever the hell it's called. Cave powder. Or, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh oh I think this is how you get it. This thing's coming at me. Ah! No, this is gonna hurt. Ah! Ouch. Why'd you do that? Where'd you come from? Now I need to find where you came from again. I think it came from in here. Did it come from in here? I think that whatever it came out of has the dust. I think this is it here. Uh oh. What is this thing? Uh, I don't know. But I need to get to the surface now. Okay, let's get back to the surface, get some air. Let's see if we can find that little area that that, that thing came out of. 
because I'm pretty sure that was what I can't see crap I really need that that light that flashlight I'm kind of using these fishes as miniature lanterns I don't see it now so basically I took damage for nothing not too much damage but a little bit damage my pride more than anything else if I'm honest with you I'm very enthusiastic when I come up for air Just sort of jump right out at, at you I don't want to drift too, too far this way we're in, a, we're in sort of a bad neighborhood here But that little thing on the wall that it was attached to is what uh, I think had the cave powder in it. If I could have relocated it, that would have been great. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to do the same thing again. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were saber fish. Okay. Still looking for the uh, salt. Not having much luck. Thirty seconds. Ooh, ooh, there's a lock container here. How do I get into this? What, what do I do here? I probably need to scan that. Okay, let's get to the surface. Oxygen. Sun is starting to rise here. Still looking for anything helpful. Maybe I need to go deeper. That's probably it. Uh, I think I see. I think I see a salt deposit. Maybe. That's too big. No, no, that's one of those bubble things. Yeah, it's a bubble. Go on over here and get some, get some oxygen. Let's take a look around here. I think that's salt right there. So we're in the right neighborhood. All right, good. I think there might be some over there too. Yes, we have salt. There we go, finally. Finally, I think I saw some maybe here. Oh, it's a creature egg. I'm not too big on, on that. At this point yet, yeah, I don't have an aquarium. Whoa, crap, what the hell is that thing? Oh, it's one of those sand shark things. That was a bit terrifying. Okay, let's get up a little higher. Sometimes it's easier to look down and, and see things. Okay, I think I saw a couple over there. So I will come back here in a second. Getting pretty deep there, actually. I mean, I know not nearly as deep as we can go, but for me early on, that's that's pretty deep. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biome diversity both above and below the surface. Okay, there's some more salt deposits. And there's a sand shark thing. Dang it. They're going nuts over there. I can't go that way. I can't go over there. I'm gonna get eaten. I, I, I'm too young to die. Okay. Let's head back over here. I see one over here if I can get to it. I think it's going to be the problem is getting to it. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Right down here, maybe. Oh, son of a bitch, they're everywhere. Oh, it seems like such a bad idea. I hope I can... I hope I can get down there unnoticed. Let's give it a shot. Shoot, there's one right there. Caution. 
Continue Get out of here. Degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, well, somehow we made it out of there. I don't know how. We got a couple pieces of salt. Now we need that cave powder. That sounded big. Well, the sounds of this game, man, make me nervous. Let's head back down, see if we can get maybe some, uh, some cave powder. So we can find a cave. A cargo, here's the cargo thing. What's that? Oh, I don't think we can do anything with that, actually. First, I thought we could. What are these little round things? Grab sphere fragment. Hmm. Seems like it might be important. Some bits of the wreckage, it looks like. All right, let's head on back to the life pod. Uh, I think maybe I can, maybe I'll get lucky and get attacked again. Or one of these time bombs. Whoa. Kind of creepy. Huh? Oh, there we go. There's one right there. He's going to come out at me. No, that's not one. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, that's what I needed. That's the one that attacked me. What the hell just ate me? Oh, he's going to blow up. He's going to blow up. Whoa. That's what I needed. And I'll get another one. Wow. Inadvertently. That worked out good. That worked out really good. Let's get to the surface. And let's get over to life pod. <sighs> Those sand sharks made me nervous. I'm surprised I didn't get munched on. Okay, um, let's take a look, see what we got. Repair tool. I have enough. I'm carrying everything I need. Okay, do it. Okay, let's put that thing to work. Let's bring that out. And can I repair this? Yeah, don't, don't, do, don't touch that. Don't complete the circuit, man. Uh, so charging power cell. Okay. What needs fixed? This thing? Ah, oh, here we go. Repair. There we go. All right, let's play this message. That sounds like a long time. And it sounds like... Okay. Oh, here we go. Let's repair this. What is this? I don't know. Whatever it is, hopefully it'll keep this thing from... Ooh. Can I just fly this thing right out of here? Oh, it's venting. Looks like it's venting all the uh, noxious poisonous gases out, too. Nice. Look at that. I fixed stuff. Check it out. I fixed that, and I fixed that. That's amazing. All right. Um, so, let's see here. What do we need next? Probably need a survival knife. I want to know what that is. Okay. High capacity tank. So, I need silver ore. I don't think I can find it in this biome. I think I have to go to a different one for that. I do have everything else, though. So, once we find some silver, we'll be good to go. Um, what else? Electronics. What about building things like a mobile vehicle bay? Sea glide. Okay, so we don't know about that. We do have the scanner. I probably should use the scanner on that grab thing. I need to start doing that when I'm out and about. Let's go do some exploring next. So, all right, guys. Well, I think I'll end this episode here. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to go do some more uh, exploring around the area. See what kind of trouble we can get into. And hopefully we can maybe start working our way towards uh, building a base or getting a sea glide, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what the order is, 
And perhaps I should look at my uh, here, my uh, my PDA and see what the survival guide recommends. So let me see here, survival checklist. I'm gonna start reading this again, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.